Gary? Well, I'm not supportive of this resolution at all, and I'll give you my thoughts why. I'm a little – I'm a little concerned that it gives the impression to the public that there's something going wrong here. Something's happening that just cropped up, and, you know, there's some subterfuge going on, and we need to fix it. And in reality, the system that we've been using has worked very well for years and years and years. The two things that have drove this conversation, the Alliance and the Mary Gardens Foundation issue, were not just sprung overnight. They were discussed in advance. They were – we were all briefed on the generalities of what was going to happen. You may not have seen the actual document to the week before, but at some point the council has to put its trust in a staff that they take the negotiations and they put together a document and bring it forward for your review. Now, if you don't – if you have questions or you want to change something or you don't like what's in that document once you see it, I've never known that we haven't deferred it when it's been requested and deferred it multiple weeks if we need to hash it out, which we have done. And there's nothing wrong with that. I don't have a problem with deferring anything that a council member doesn't feel comfortable voting on if it's – if they have a reason that they saw something. Okay. While I respect the concept of honoring requests from council people, I think at some point in time we're tasked with the – with the – making that decision. And that's what this group does in the final end run. You've got all those subcommittees with all those people on it and the advisory board and so forth, but they look at us to make those hard decisions, and I think that that's what we're being tasked for. So at this point in time, it would be hard for me to support deferring it. 